Hello everyone, my name is James. Welcome to another episode of Rising Intelligence, our weekly Q&A. Normally I'm joined by Anderson in action, but he's actually away from Alaska, so this week we have a special guest. Yeah, you! Uh, this is John. Uh, you might know him. He's the creator of the Hawk Machinima in, in Halo Reach. And he makes Machinima like I do. And uh, this episode, we're just answering a bunch of questions from... Uh, I guess the community, not really the machinima community, but just cool, random questions, and some of them has to do with machinima. And I feel like you know I'll answer them, and John can give me his opinion. And uh, John's channel will be in the description, and somewhere on the screen, I will freaking blast annotations so we can promote this guy. So uh, yeah, um, so the first question we got is, uh, do you guys make any big machinimas? Besides, well, I guess he's talking to me like besides Rain Inheritor, so. Um, do I make any other machinimas besides those two? And then we'll talk to John about this. Um, me, uh, well, for me, Rain and Inheritor are my main machinimas that I make. Rain is a comedic machinima with sexual humor. It's mainly for, uh, adults, I guess. I really don't know what age range it would be because, you know, there's a bunch of people who watch really weird shit on the internet that aren't, uh, old enough. But it's, it, oh, it's, yeah, yeah it, it, it's for, like, mature people i guess and inheritors like my my intense war drama but do i make anything else of course uh you know halo 4 is out and um i make a bunch of shorts out of halo 4 i just recently made a short that i'll be uploading on february 15th called bloodshed pretty cool it's a very like symbolic art style thing but i'm also making other shorts but um yeah uh rain and inheritor are like my main two but there are some little shorts here and there i am making like the whole story issue is coming up on respawn soon so uh, I know you make the Hawk, John. Is, is there anything else you want to make? But I, I mean, like the Hawk's a very big series, and maybe making something else might be too much. Like you know, juggling series. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Um, first to start off, um, I was not the original creator of the Hawk. Yeah, Sword ninety nine was the original uh, creator of the Hawk. Um, he was one who had the basic idea. He came out with the first uh, Hawk episode, and then he came out with the Hawk with you, which kind of gave like a backstory or whatever. But yeah. I decided to um, talk to him one day, and we met up and became friends, and now we are co-writing for The Hawk Legacy, which kind of takes place to the very beginning of um, the main character, Michael. Cool. kind of takes place at the beginning of uh, his uh -huh. time joining the police and stuff like that. Um, I mean, with the whole um, doing other machinimas, um, I know, yeah, The Hawk is a really big series, and yeah. I've debated on whether or not I want to start on um, some of my Halo 4 projects because I do have one sort of planned, but it's not completely planned and I haven't done a lot of work on it. I'm just really trying to get the Hawk out there. And I'm, I've am i been really getting some good reviews on it, so I'm really liking them. Yeah. Doing that. Is it weird to do Halo Reach Machinima when a game like Halo 4 is out? Regardless if some of the Machinima abilities in 4 aren't up to par with Reach, in some people's opinions, is it weird to make a Machinima in an older game compared to a new one? Oh, no, not at all. Oh. I honestly don't care to make Machinima in Halo 4, uh -huh. honestly. I mean, I haven't attempted yet, but I probably will make some sort of short just to try it out and see what I think about it. Yeah. I'm perfectly fine with doing Reach. I'm probably going to stay in Reach for a while and keep doing Reach Machinimas because I still like Reach better than I do Halo 4 so far, but I have not personally done Halo 4 Machinima yet, Yeah. so I can't really judge yet. I thought for me it'd be really weird going to... I mean, this is before I thought Halo 4 was going to have like a bunch of abilities. And I'm not saying Halo 4 is bad. Um, for me, going back to me making shorts in 4, um, I, I, I think Halo 4 is a great game. Um, I, 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 I have a lot of fun making Machinima in Halo 4. It's a blast. It's you know new armor, new environments. Everything is new and it's great. Uh, there's yeah. just a lot of limitations with the whole weapon lowering and no weapons, and yeah. that really bugs me because for shows like Rain, um, it's a very civilian type of show. You know, they never have loaded guns pointing at each other's faces. I always try to have them with no weapons, and yeah. I guess for me now, when I make shorts like that, it's it's it, it's or series is it, it's hard. Like sometimes I want to have like a talking scene between two people, and I don't want to have weapons in the scene. Um, and Halo 4, I can't do that. Especially the one thing I don't like about 4 is that when you walk, the weapons is raised up. That's, that's really troublesome. But um, I think one thing I can relate to is with Halo 4, and I can relate it back to Halo 3, because I think with Halo 3, you never had no weapons in the scene. And if you did, like the hands were raised. Um, so I think in every scene, regardless if it was talking, you would always have people with guns. However, in Halo 3, if they walked, it was lowered, not raised. 
Um, but uh, I think maybe Halo 4 is kind of like Halo 3 Machinima now. It is a bit more limiting because of the whole weapon thing, but it's kind of like Halo 3 because in every scene there always was a weapon. And uh, even when people had plasma pistols, uh, I think I guess back then plasma pistols were used to be like, oh, he's not really carrying a weapon, but we have to ha like we have to give him a weapon, or otherwise it will look weird. So um, it's actually a lot of fun. And uh, but I mean, for big projects, I I definitely would st would, would I stick to Halo Reach. Yeah, and like with the whole like Halo Three to Halo Four thing, I mean, sometimes I question myself. Like, I I, mean, I, I just question myself asking like. Do you think they like for completely forgot about Reach and they just based all of the machinima aspect of Halo Four from Halo Three? Because it just it seems like they took a lot of things out on purpose. But yeah, then, yeah. And I don't I don't really know what to think about it because I've had people tell me that oh it was just a press for they were just pressed for time and it was just glitches and stuff that they were uh, confused with convert conversion wise and it was just it was just a big mess I guess towards the end for that from that aspect. I mean. Halo Four is a great game for uh, matchmaking wise. Yeah, really but fun. It's it's not the best for Machinima, mm -hmm. but then again, with Halo Reach, it's the opposite. It's terrible in my opinion, matchmaking wise, and great for Machinima. Yeah, isn't that weird? Um, I think Bungie's last game was the best community game. Yep. Um, I think maybe that's where they were going for, and I'm kind of happy Halo Four wasn't that great because I'm a humongous fan of Halo Reach. I love Reach with all my heart, and a bunch of people hate on that game and say it's like the, like the worst piece of crap ever created. And I think because Halo 4 is not up to par, people are finally seeing, oh, Halo Reach actually is a good game, and it's not yeah. shit. Um, and it never was, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, uh, Halo 4 is a lot of fun to make Mishima, and it's just kind of limiting. And if I want to make big, awesome series like Inheritor and Rain, I would stick to Reach because it's more open and um, I, I, I actually have another question. This actually isn't on the list, and it's funny. We're not even going to answer all the questions, which is good. We can save it for next week or whatever. But uh, do you I, – I, I remember in the beginning of, of, of uh, Halo Reach, people had issues with the color palette. It was very gritty, very dark, and it wasn't as colorful as Halo 3 was and now Halo 4. Um, do you have issues with it being kind of dark, or do you like making dark-type movies? No, I definitely like it being dark. I mean, a lot of my machinimas are really kind of – eerie i guess you could mm -hmm. say well I don't, I don't know about my older ones but my more recent ones like uh martyr and the hawk uh legacy they're a lot darker and a lot more eerie and i really really like it so the halo 4 coloring the whole uh shadows and stuff is is really cool but i'm starting to dislike it a little just because like you try to make a room or something and it's just really really dark in there and it's uh -huh. it just looks weird to me but i don't know it's just I like I like doing it in Halo Reach a lot. It's just with Halo Four, I don't know. There's just something about it that I haven't figured out yet that I don't like about it. Okay, I mean, yeah, I, I actually now realize probably why there's so many dramatic machinimas in Halo Reach now. Like, I remember back in the Halo Three days, there were so many comedies, and that might be because of the color palette. Um, mm -hmm. And with Reach now, you know, before Halo Four came out. Uh, there was, like, there were so many, like, I remember when I was still making my Inheritor show, back then I called it, like, Confederacy or something, but, uh, you know, back then, I'm pretty sure there was literal, I, I think the only other drama there was, was, uh, Rise of the, not Rise of the Spartans, Forgotten Spartans, and, yes. um, yeah, like, everything else was comedy, and now in Halo Reach, there's, like, no comedy, and everything is drama, everything, and it's such a weird twist. Back then, there was too much comedy. Now there's too much drama. And with Halo Four, I'm seeing the the comedic come back, and it's not as dramatic as it was before. Yeah, but, um, I mean, Halo Reach. There there was a lot of comedy for Halo Reach, but a lot of it was just really bad. It was just poorly written, and yeah. poorly acted. It was a lot of the comedy in Halo Reach was not worth watching at all. But yeah, I yeah. see what you're saying. Okay, we are uh, towards the end of the episode. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, John's channel is in the description. Uh, I, I would ask where we could find him, but we're, we, we have like nine seconds left. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me, John. Yep. Uh, have a good day, everybody. See ya. See ya.